Yo, 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 what up, y'all? Welcome back to Toast and Talk, sponsored by the Boyd's Bar. My name is Eric Boyd. Behind the camera, we got the legend, the mogul. Everybody know him, Tony O'Neill. Yerp. Yerp. All right, uh, we just doing test runs tonight, man. We, uh, we, we've been going through it today with these audio issues. Hopefully, we, we got them worked out, but we're going to make sure we bring y'all the best possible podcast experience that we can do. Anyway. That being said, what we talking about today, Tom? Man, she. <laughs> let's talk about how. <laughs> let's talk about that one friend that is just such a pain in the fucking ass. Oh, you mean you? I could mean that. <laughs> oh, okay, so Not we talk particularly, but. Uh, yeah, whatever, whatever. We talking about you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Do we want to go? In, do we want to do the the topic that we were talking about? Or are we just talking about just friends in general? You want to say that for the actual podcast? Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's see. I mean, it, we're probably knowing us going to come up with something new every probably, time. Probably, probably. All right, all right, cool. I get to jump off. I get to jump off. All right, so <clears throat> I feel like we all have that friend that we can't take nowhere. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like anybody, anybody that's that's watching this is gonna be like yo i know exactly that friend you talking about you know the one that you love them to death you do anything for them but when you take them in public they just find a way to piss you the fuck off too far i I, I feel very targeted right now i'm not quite sure how to take this um am i lying if you're referring to me in front of the nation, yes, you are lying. <laughs> okay, okay. But yo, I mean, yo, yo is it, is it that no bad? So I, I am that friend. <laughs> but my question is, is it really that bad? Like the time up until the point where it's like you now we have reached the point of no return. You're a pain in my ass for this evening. Up until that time, it's a fucking blast. Yeah, but it's uh, it's that moment right there to where it's just like I can't take this nigga nowhere. Oh, so what? <laughs> I get in the truck and I go to sleep, and then you're like, "Oh, motherfucker!" And then we, and then it's over. Okay, get drunk and go to sleep. But what what did it take for pause before I say this? What did it ta- what did it take for you to get for me to get you home drunk and then go to sleep? There's no way that I can say that to make it sound good. No, yeah, but the, a lot of times I think yeah. that you have like a, a disease. What do you mean a disease? Like you have a pause disease. Like almost everything you say is pausable. It, it I is question pause. you sometimes. Maybe you're that friend I can't take anywhere because everything you say is pausable. First of all, you, can, <laughs> you cannot have a normal conversation with anybody, somebody you know or a stranger without saying pause. Yes, you can. No, you can't. You No, I'm talking about you. I can't. No. How you figure that? Have you? When was the last time? When was the last time you had a conversation with a random person or even somebody you know? With no, a conversation in general without saying pause. I do it every day. Pause. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> See, exactly. You just proved my fucking point. <laughs> you just proved my fucking point. We live in a pausable society. <laughs> <laughs> I have pausable deniability. <laughs> pausable deniability. <laughs> this is what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. Come on, man. Yo. But anyway, anyway, back yeah. on topic. Back yeah. on topic. Back on topic. All right. So, but it's not that bad, bro. It's not that bad. After We're still the fact. friends. <laughs> we have, we have going to we we've gone to so many bars, clubs, lounges, restaurants. That if it was really that bad, we would never go anywhere to get together ever again. If it were that bad and we didn't have, if we didn't have the history in the, in the, the friendship that we have, then yeah, it, it probably would have been, it, it wouldn't be, okay, if we didn't have the history in the friendship that we have, then we probably wouldn't be friends to this day. You're right, because we probably would have been like, yo, I'm I'm not fucking with him, not fucking with him, like whoopy whoopy whoop. But bro, like we got we are literal 
brothers. Like, we but, literally care about each other. So, I mean, obviously, I can't, you can't just cut the friendship off just because you feel some type of way or because your your brother acted some type of way. But what does that say about you, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> like, you are like, I'm just going to keep putting up with this shit. So that means you ain't too far off of the loony bin. I if see. I am that friend, if I am that <laughs> friend that you can't take me anywhere and yet you still take me places, who is who has lost their mind? The person who can't act right or the person who continues to take the person who okay, can't first act right. Of all, you're not gonna use a fucking reverse you're not gonna do the whole reverse psychology thing on me. I see what you're doing and I appreciate My nigga, it. I can't even However, spell psychology, so <laughs> However, but the reason I keep taking your motherfucking ass places is because I think you've grown, which I know you have. I am grown. But I know you... No, I'm talking about that growing as a person. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't done that. Exactly. So my whole thing is it's it's constantly me hoping like, all right, cool, he's crossed this plateau, he's crossed this plateau. If somebody talks to him, I'm not saying, you know, they completely get out of line with you, but, bro, you will go off just because... Just because it's Tuesday and you feel in some type of way. <laughs> yeah, but, but that also says that. But also you didn't says, deny it. I no, just want to make that deny it. Like, I'm not denying <laughs> anything that you're saying. But that also says, like, basically, it. that's just like, I had a rough day. I had a real bad day. I'm like, bro, like, I had, I had a fucked up ass day, my nigga. Like, I don't even know. And your first thing, man, let's just go have a couple of drinks. You're, you made the first mistake. So now it's my fault. Now, if you know that I had a bad day and I'm about to get litty fied litty beyond toasted talk, I'm probably going toasted yell. And you st- and you still suggest to go somewhere? Come on, bro. You already know you already know what's going to happen. I love how you made this my fault though. Like, I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm just saying that you should be more accepting of what's going to happen. Why because shouldn't? You, it, why shouldn't you? I'm sorry to cut you off, but why shouldn't you be more uh, self aware that hey, bro, it's not a good idea for me to go out in public right now. Let's go back to the crib and just pop a bottle. Because going, because I'm not the one that's not having fun, even though I get into shit. You're the one not having fun. So because would, you're getting in the shit. So why is it just going out? You're the one that's not going to have a good time. I'm still, I get in the shit and still have fun. Get in the car before I pass out in the truck. Hey, that was a good night, bro. I hate you so much. Did God. you see the way I hit him with that left hook? Woo! Let's do it again tomorrow. No, it ain't going to be no you see him. You see the way I hit him with the left hook. You're going to be in fucking county by the end. <laughs> that depends. <laughs> Is nothing. You never take me to the Negro bars, so I don't have to really worry about going to county. When you go to the white people bars, they love fighting and throwing chairs and shit. That shit fun to them. Bro, what was the name of that fucking song that we heard at Richmond Arms where it was doing something like a nigga? Uh, shit, shit, shit. Well, what was the guy's name uh, anyway? Something Poe, something Poe. Uh, Willem, Willem, Adam Poe. That some shit, shit sound racist. Right, don't it? That shit just sound like a motherfucking racist. Uh, Either racist or fucking suicidal. Well, something Poe, man. Some fucking Poe. Any fucking way. Uh, what's something else generic we can talk about? Just so we don't have to do it on the podcast. Matter of fact, by the time we by the time we release this podcast, like it, this 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 is gonna be old news. But I, I gotta get your opinions because we have different opinions on this. The the uh, Antonio Brown situation. Okay. All right. So, me personally, um, I don't like the way he handled himself. I really don't. I don't like the way he handled himself. I feel like that shit was selfish, and I think that was. Um, just public, just the way he handled it publicly, is my problem. Not saying that I like him as a person because I honestly, well, not as a person because I don't know him, but just based on his track record and the things that he's done over the past couple of years, I'm just not a fan. Just not a fan. What do you think? Honestly, I think that. 
when when you're in that position, entertainers, athletes, politicians, people tend to forget that you are just a regular human human being at the end of the day. So if you disagree with the way that he handled whatever situation, that means that you disagree with, I feel safe to say, probably about, I don't know, 45 to 60% of the people that you deal with every day, but you don't care because you don't see them on television. One, two, oh, go ahead, go ahead. two um, I feel as though that that man has the right to do and say and act according to his feelings. I, But this goes back to the conversation that we just had. Like, yeah, I'm going to be the one that, nigga, if you knock, I'm a buck. You feel me? Pause. <laughs> but that's just how it is, like. So that man got to be the right to feel that way. Plus, what people fail to realize, and and nobody talks about it anymore, all of these athletes come, well, most of these athletes come from inner inner city schools and urban environments, and then all of a sudden you give them a ridiculous amount of money and expect them to change who they are. Everybody buys mom a house and a car. And gets, you know, Cousin Bobo out the hood. Bobo Ray Ray and and Shay Shay and all of them. They get him out the hood. Bobo Bobo, Ray Ray and Shay Shay. (laughs) Everybody got Cousin Bobo Ray Ray and Shay Shay. Of course, yeah. So, anybody black anyway. If I meet a white person that got a Cousin Bobo Ray Ray and Shay Shay, I swear to God he invited to the cookout. We all got the same type of family members. They just go by different names. Yeah. So, (laughs) like, why are y'all expecting anything else? Like, look at the way Bull, Bull been having his hair looking like this for years. Before it was popping anywhere else, he was rocking his hair like that. Don't forget about the blonde mustache. I'm you feel me? Like, he, is, he's, he has been the same person his whole entire career, and then he pulls this act, and it's like, oh, I can't believe he did that. That was so unprofessional. <laughs> Name one time where he was acting professional. Okay, okay. So if I can interject real quick, real quick, look at his, look at his track record, right? So my whole thing is here's here's why I feel here's why I have a hard time feeling bad for Antonio Brown. But okay? he's not asking anybody to feel feel bad for him though. But he constantly wants chances in the NFL. But asking asking for a chance as a I won't say top notch receiver because he's not a top notch receiver for, for anymore. Three, for three years, for a three year stretch, he was the best receiver in the league. For sure, but he, that was six years ago. Yeah. So he's not. It's it, here's a here's the best example I can give, and okay. you're going to be so fucking pissed off when I say <laughs> this, bro. You are going to be so pissed off. Okay. Colin Kaepernick is not in the league for what? For the stance that he took against racial injustice. How many fucking teams in the NFL needed a quarterback? I'm not saying that he should have gone to a team that was like a playoff contender, but how many teams in the NFL needed a quarterback and had very early draft picks and could have picked somebody up to help him? I see what you... Okay. If, if I can, I think what the point that you're getting at is that Kaepernick was way too talented, and there were no, there's no way that there were 32 quarterbacks in the NFL that were better than him. Is that Absolutely where you're going? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There was no way there exactly. were 32 yeah. quarterbacks better than him. No. Example. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. Not. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't piss me off. That, that was actually energetic. Um, pause. Anyway. Um, but. Okay, so what I was trying to say about A.B. is that I feel that his, ever since he went live on Facebook after after that game, you remember that game? Which one? The, 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 the game, when this started the whole Antonio Brown shit, right? It was back in, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, it might have been 2016. This was years fucking ago, right? Steelers days. The Steelers days. 
He went Facebook Live after they had won a playoff game or whether they won a game to go to the playoffs or whatever, whatever the fuck it was. This is when he started to become the AB that we know today. Started doing dumb shit and then constantly just doing dumb shit, dumb shit after dumb shit. So let's just look at a timeline real quick, if we may. So the Facebook Live incident, obviously players are not supposed to be in they, in uh, on their phone on social media in the locker room going live. We can at least agree on that, correct? On their phone in the locker room going live. I don't see the problem. The coaches in the organization see the problem. Okay, so, okay, let's skip past that, right? So he ordered his way out of Pittsburgh, right? He gets traded to the to the uh, Raiders, okay? This man did all types of motherfucking shit while he was with the Raiders. He fucking ordered uh, a, sh a personal chef, didn't pay, didn't want to pay the chef. He ordered a moving company, didn't want to pay for the moving company. All of these things are public record. Not only are public record, there are videos of them on the fucking internet. Now, past that, he had a contract lined up with the Raiders for $29 million. Guaranteed. This was on a Thursday. The only thing he had to do was keep his fucking mouth shut. Not even keep his mouth shut. Just be a normal human being. Until Tuesday, four to five days, you would have had $29 million guaranteed. But you wanted to walk into a cryo chamber with wet feet and free and quote unquote freeze your feet and mess up your money. And then you guaranteed your way out of, I mean, you uh, you fought your way out of Vegas. But all you had to do was five days and you $29 million guaranteed. Now, this is not all about the money. I'm just saying the incidents that happened, that he did this shit to himself. Now, past that, you get released from your Raiders contract be, and, and you make a video about it. Grandma, I'm free. Get, grandma, I'm free. Now, you ain't got nowhere to go. The one motherfucker in the NFL that's willing to pick you up, Brady, he brings you to fucking New England on a minimum fucking deal. Okay, cool. Bring, bring you to New England on a minimum deal. You call out Robert Kraft him fucking self and you fuck up that money. All right, cool. Brady goes down to Tampa. The one motherfucker in the world that wants you on their team. Nobody in the NFL wants you at this point. Brady brings you on. You go down there. You manage to act right. For, for, for You manage to be a normal human being for a year. You win a chip. Your only chip in your career. All right, cool. Bring it back. Let's go back for another run. Bring you back the next year. Now, at the end of this past season, <clears throat> you got incentives in your contract. All right, bet. Brady's like, all right, cool. The first half, I get you five targets. We only got five targets to go. Not five targets, five catches. All right, cool. B.A., uh, Bruce Arians, like, all right, cool. A.B., go, go get back in the game. No, I ain't feeling good. Okay. You don't want to get back in the game? All right, cool. Not a problem. You did not have to take off your shoulder pads and your jersey and throw them on the sideline because you felt like Brady was throwing Gronk more targets when you still had a whole nother game, keep in mind, this is game 16. You still have a whole nother game to get your contract incentives. But you want to throw a fit because everything is about you. Everything is about you. You want to throw a fit and then storm out because everything is about AB. It's not, it's never been about the fucking team. It's never been about the fucking organization. It's never been about anybody but fucking AB. That's my problem with AB, fam. When, but, so, okay, so, but even going back into, I don't disagree with what you're saying. As, as ruthless as this may sound, I actually don't care about him saying it being all about AB. Because his whole time as a Steeler, it had to be about A.B. First of all, I don't care what anybody says. And all you Steeler Nation people can really suck a dick. I don't really, oh, I really dude. don't care, bro. Because first of all, that's a, that's a, it don't matter. They in the same state, bro. Facts, facts. facts. They in the same state, bro. <laughs> He so, a Philly fan, die hard, Philly bird Philly gang, Philly. go birds. <laughs> so, like, that's all they had, bro. Yeah. That's all they had. They had a half-ass run game. And I mean, maybe I was there at that time. 
half ass run game. Half ass run game. Okay. Half ass run game. Prime Le'Veon. Okay, you got it. You got it. Go ahead. Prime Le'Veon Bell. Yeah. Prime Le'Veon Bell. Is nothing to brag about, bro. I mean, he not shady, but fuck. Thank you. That's that's <laughs> my point. Like. Like Prime Le'Veon Bell no, he's is not shady. even is he's he's not even LaShawn McCoy, bro. No, no, he's I not even LaShawn McCoy, I, bro. I give you that. I give you that. Because it w- as soon as he went somewhere else, mm-hmm. poo poo platter. Yeah, of course. When he was on the Jets, he was trash. Poo poo platter. <laughs> and they and actually then, paid and, him. And then where 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 did he go after that? Uh, the the Chiefs or the Cardinals or something like that? Something like no, nah, I think it was the Chiefs. It wasn't. It for sure wasn't. It was Cardinals. like third string, bro. Yeah, facts. Cause they, who did they have in front of him? They had like a Kareem Hunt. Was Kareem Hunt in front of him? Uh huh. At that time, it was. I feel like it was somebody else. I don't know. It, this is like two seasons ago. Not important. Not important. Finish your point. But anyway, like it was all about AB. Then you go to the Raiders. Who the fuck did they have? Nobody. It's still all about AB. Then he goes to the Patriots. Who the fuck did they have? Gronk. But you feel like this is a reason it's for all him about to, AB. You feel like this is a reason for him to behave the way that he behaved. Like, I just want to make that. That's the point. I'm no, I'm not to. saying I already explained that the way that he behaved is the way that he is. And we need to stop taking it like like stop getting so upset about a person being who they are, th- who they naturally are. Because just because he's on a fucking professional football team, because money is not a thing for him. Uh-huh. And why are we worried about his money? You need to take that? Yeah, no, I gotta take that. Go ahead. Hey, babe. 